So this is the image I'm going to use. So now in order to blur parts of an image, you will need to make selection here of the part. You can use any selection tool, for example, the free select, rectangle, or ellipse. I'm going to use the ellipse tool. So here are settings I'm using. Make sure in the mode here, I'm going to select the replace current selection. And now I'm going, for example, to blur this person here. So here it is, to blur his face. And now press enter. And now go to filter, blur, and then select Gaussian blur. And now let's increase the blur. So here it is, and now press OK. And now if I remove the selection, go to select, none. So as you can see, we have quite harsh edges. So if you want to have, for example, smoother edges, so I'm going to go back, Control Z to undo, and then Control Z to undo. So here it is. And now let's go to select. We're going to feather this selection here. Go to select, feather. I'm going to feather it by 15 and then press OK. And now let's go back, filter. And now I'm going to use the same Gaussian blur. So just click on repeat Gaussian blur or just use the Control plus F, left click. So here it is, and I've got to select none. So as you can see, the edges are smoother. So there's another way here to blur it or to pixelate it. So Control Z to undo, and then Control Z to undo again. So my selection is still feathered. And now go to Filter, Blur, and then this time select Pixelize. So it will turn it into pixels. So now, so block width, it will increase the block width, the shape you can change round or for example diamond so I'm going to leave it with square so I don't see the difference, so now I'm going to reduce it, so here like this so I think I'm going to leave it here, now press OK and now I'm going to add a red outline here, so I'm going to increase this selection here, so go to select grow I'm going to increase it by 25 and pixels and then press OK. And now I'm going to stroke this selection. So go to cell, go to edit, sorry. So first of all, change the foreground color, left click. I'm going to change it to this red here. Here's the HTML notation, press OK. And then go to edit, stroke selection to stroke our selection here. Select line, check the foreground color. This is the red. Check the anti-aliasing and now you can choose the line width. I'm going to change, I'm going to leave it to 10. And this is for example the how you want your line to look. So dash preset. So here it is. I'm going to leave it to the straight line. And now just click on stroke. So here it is, and I'll go to select none to remove the selection. So now I forgot to duplicate my layer so you can see the before and after. I'm going to bring it back. So here it is. This is the before. And this is the after.